proof by induction for leaving cert higher level, this is a sums example. We're to prove that for all natural numbers, that 3 plus 3 squared plus 3 cubed, etc., uh, adding up to 3 to the power of n is equal to 3 over 2 times 3 to the power of n minus 1. We're going to follow these four steps that we always use in proving by induction. In step 1, we choose the lowest value of n and we're going to prove it for that. The lowest or first of the natural numbers is 1. So we're going to show that p1 for n equals 1, when we sub it in here, will give the output of 1. So when n equals 1, the value of this is 3, is the first term, um, and that equals 3 over 2 times 3 to the power of 1, take 1. What I'm doing there is I'm replacing n with 1 in the expression on the right hand side. So if we evaluate this out, will it equal 3? Well, we see that 3 minus 1 is 2, and we have 2 being divided into 2, which is 1. So the answer is 3. So we see, yes, it is true for n equals 1. Step 1 completed. In step 2, we're going to write, let's assume it to be true when we put n k in for n. So that is that 3 plus 3 squared up as far as 3 to the power of k. That's going to be equal to the value when we sub k in for n into our expression. So we're just going to write that we assume that to be true. Now, step three, and the most important step, is we want to prove it to be true for n is equal to k plus 1. This means that if we were to add up all the terms on the left-hand side, up as far as the k plus first term, that would be the same as putting k plus 1 instead of n in the given expression. Now, like in all these summation examples, what we have here is we have the sum up as far as the term k plus this one extra term, the k plus first term. So the left-hand side of this is equal to the thing that we've assumed it to be first with this one extra term added on. So it's we already have assumed that term k is, if we put k into the expression, and we're adding this one extra ex expression. Now what I want to do is I want to show that this is the same as if we put k plus 1 into the expression. So I'm just going to manipulate the left-hand side, doing nothing else first. So I'm going to take the left-hand side, I want it to look like what I have colored in here in the orange box. So first of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the second term that I have here, this 3 to the k plus 1. I can write that as 3 lots of 3 to the k. This is the rules of indices allow me to do that. I want to add these two terms. The second term here is not a fraction. The first term has been divided by 2. So I'm going to multiply the second term by 2 over 2 so I can add these two fractions. So both terms now have a 3 over 2 part to them. So I can take 3 over 2 out as the highest common factor. I want to do that because it's in the expression I want it to look like. So taking out that highest common factor, it's been multiplied in the first term by 3k minus 1, and then there's plus 2 lots of 3k in the second half of the expression. We're almost there. You'll notice inside the brackets I have a 3k and 2 lots of 3k, so in total that's 3 lots of 3k minus 1. We've always proven it at this stage. We're lastly just going to write out the answer because 3 lots of 3k is the same as 3 to the power of k plus 1. We've proven what we've set out to prove. So we've shown that the left-hand side looked like the right-hand side at the start. So step 4 is we state our conclusion. We always state it in the same way. We say it is true for n is equal to k plus 1, provided that it's true for n equals k. We've shown that it's true for n equals 1, Therefore, it is true for all n, for n is an element of n natural numbers.